Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So this is quite an interesting one as the folks at Triple have just recently announced the open sourcing of two of their generative AI technologies and this includes the Triple SG and the Triple SF. These are now open source tools which brings all of the vast AI research that the folks at Tripoli have done over the past years to everyone, meaning that you can now simply go on GitHub, grab all of the contents that exist right there and start experimenting and generating high fidelity 3D models based on the generative AI models that the folks at Tripoli have made available. And for those who have no idea who the folks at Tripoli are, these creators have made a couple of things before. Now we've already talked about tools like text to 3D and image to 3D with tools like human 3D and all that and that is exactly the same thing that triple is currently doing so if you do come over to their website you can come through and try out triple so by default this is what you get you do get a simple place where you can either load in an image put in a description and start generating a 3d model however if you like to take a look at the 3d models that have been generated before you can simply go ahead and select any of them so once we have one selected this automatically loads in and we can take a closer look at this to see how much stuff has been generated based off this single image and this looks pretty interesting we can actually retopologize this entire thing and see what it looks like so for example we would like to see a lower resolution of what this looks like we can go ahead and have this selected and once we hit the download button and preview this we would be able to see this in any of the dcc apps that we're working with that this has been retoppled to about 5,000 polys. And this is what they look like right here inside of Blender. So because we chose the custom version, you can see what we have here. These have been retopologized, but of course they do have triangles, which is okay. At the same time, you can also see what we have here with the high fidelity one. And you know, if you're going for a maximum model, you will definitely get more resolution. And if you're going for something pretty minimum, you're also gonna get something like that. However, Right here, if you would like to download for a specific tool, you can come through and specify that. Unfortunately, Blender isn't available in this case, but I believe once you select something from both 3D Studio Max, Maya, maybe, you know, Houdini and all that, that is also going to work. So for these ones, once you have them selected, you'll be able to download them with any of this format. And format they have includes the FBX, USD, OBJ, STL, GLD, and 3MF. So if we choose to download these as any of these ones, Maybe we would like to get them like Maya, for example, and we choose to hit the download button. This is going to come with proper quads. So if we get this right inside of Blender, you can see what we have. We have the quad right here, and this works for a lot of them. So if we even go all the way back to the default triple, you know, website, let's just go ahead and skip all this stuff because we just opened a brand new account just to try this thing out. So if we skip all this stuff and try something else, maybe we can try with something like that. We can also get a nicer retopo out of it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select 3D Studio Max at this point, make sure that we have that as retopo and we can launch this in. In this case, I'm just gonna hide these ones and you can see that we have a pretty cool retopo. So the models that we use in building these things, you know, and the models that we'll also use in doing all of this retopo from a single image to an AI stuff, these are literally the things that are now fully open source. However, for one of them, you would have to compile one yourself while the other one is currently available and you can test that out on Hugging Face. And the one that you can literally test out on Hugging Face right now is Triple SG. As Triple SG is an advanced high fidelity, high quality and high generalizability image to 3D generation foundation model. This simply leverages on large scale rectified flow, transformers, hybrid supervised training and high quality data sets to achieve state of the art performance in 3D shape generation. This has been trained on over 2 million meticulously created image SD FPS, which ensures superior output quality. There's a whole guide on how you can get started and work with this. However, if you like to just simply explore this, then you can simply go over to the hugging page. You can also find the model, the paper, the project page, and the hugging page link all right here. So if you like to see all of that, you can simply go ahead and check out all of these as I'm going to link these ones in the description for you to see how the whole Tripoli technology was put together and how this has come to be. And for those who like to try this on Hugging Face, then you might want to come through and see this for yourself. 
and this is pretty interesting. So right here we can drop an image and we can start the whole segmentation process to produce the GLB result and also the texture. At the same time, you can also choose to use any of the default ones that they have here to test it out. So in this case, I'm just going to simply throw that in and you can see what we've got. This is the 3D model and this is what we have. Scrolling all the way down, we can also take a look at some other examples that looks like this. And you can see that this is doing a pretty cool job, especially in terms of simple stylized models like this, which of course you can bring in, clean up and use however you want. But when trying to generate more complex 3D objects, the triple SG doesn't really do a good job at it. Actually, it seems to even struggle with the very basic thing. If the image reference you're loading up isn't a three quarter image, then you might possibly see some struggle. Like in terms of the zombie and the fingers, this doesn't really do a good job. AI still struggles with fingers and this is where human artist beats AI a ton because at the end of the day, even if you generate anything with AI, you still need a human artist to carefully create and make these a tad useful. They've also released the Triple SF, which is an AI model for generating and reconstructing 3D models with complex shapes and open surfaces in high resolution. Now this is for complex models, unlike what we saw with the first one, which is more for simpler models. This is set to produce ultra high resolution construction when creating 3D models. And of course, this is also open source. So if you'd like to take a look at the hugging page, maybe you'd like to read the paper or even see the project page, you can simply go ahead and see all of these for yourself. It is quite interesting to see that the white paper for these things are currently available and there's a few samples that you can test out. So for example, if we'd like to take a look at one of the samples right here, we can click on load mesh and that would automatically load the mesh and we should be able to preview it. Of course, this is very tiny to preview, but you get the point that you can simply pause on any of these ones and preview them and see how they work. You can see them compared with every other model that exists right here. And this is the most recent version of the triple tool that you can now have access to. Now, the same thing can also be said for most of these other ones as well. And you can see the overall method that was put into place in creating this. And this being said, you can simply come through and check this one out on hugging page, or you can come through and read up on all of this right here on GitHub. So if you've been thinking about exploring with this one, then you can. You can get a clone of this, download the pre-trained model from hugging face and start exploring. It's quite interesting to also see that the folks at high 3D gen, they're also considering making their tool open source. Right now, they've also put this on Hugging Face and at the same time, you can see that from the GitHub, they already mentioned that the code is going to be released sometime in April and specifically April the 10th, we'll possibly be able to see the source code here. However, for that of Prepo, the source code is available, everything is right there. And you can come through, grab it and start working with it. So this is it. And of course, for those who like to read upon this, you'd like to see it, most probably you might want to even explore the web version that is currently available then links to all of this is going to be in the description, so do well to check it out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'd like to see you guys in the next one. Peace.